Hey, what is good everybody? Name is Jimmy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I actually just got off of work and I just kind of felt like, you know, unwinding, have a little smoke session like I normally do. As you guys can see, I got a joint lit up here. And basically, I feel like it's been a minute since I did a sit down smoke session. So what I figured I would do in today's video is not only, you know, puff off this joint a little bit, but I was going to do a comparison or like a pros and cons with beakers and straight tubes. Now, me personally, I don't feel like one is better than the other. I just feel like there is certain pros and cons to each. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to preference. So yeah, I just figured I would go ahead and pull out the straight tube and the beaker, you know, clean them all up, take a few rips for you guys. And yeah, just unwind my damn self. So if you guys do want to see some more smoke sessions and things of that nature, obviously let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make some more videos like this. I do want to start posting more sessions along with gameplays. I want to just start pumping more content out in general. I need to stop saying that in every video because I say that in every video and then my fucking upload schedule literally contradicts that. But And also, I do want to start smoking more joints and blunts on the channel. One reason why I don't really is because I don't like smoking them in my studio here just because... I don't like it to smell like blunts and joints all the fucking time. A bong rip tends to, the smoke goes away sooner, I feel like, the smell of the smoke and whatnot. That's why I usually just don't smoke joints and blunts in here. But whenever I do like a vlog or a session outdoors or something, you guys can most definitely bet on me smoking a blunt or a joint. I don't think I really smoked many blunts on the channel. I don't even think I smoked a blunt on the channel, period. But I do have these little endo uh hemp wraps they kind of look like a fucking black and mild with the wooden filter tip but they're hemp wraps so you just stuff them up with some bud and yeah i might do one of those here shortly and the weather's getting nicer so i definitely want to start doing some more outdoor vids but yeah guys at the end of the day just another real chill smoke session i haven't even taken off my clothes that i wear to work yet so i'm gonna go ahead get in the shower you know get cozy basically and get the setup all ready to go and i'll be right back with you guys for these bong rips so let's go ahead and get it Okay, it is about five hours later. <laughs> I took one of my quote unquote naps. I don't know how to take a nap. I don't know how motherfuckers fall asleep for 30 minutes and get back up like shit's like, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> but anyways, we got both of our bongs here. We got our beaker and our straight tube. And like I said, we're just gonna kind of go through the comparisons between these two. And you know, at the end of the day, like I said, it's all preference. I'm just kind of letting you guys know what I personally think about these two. Also got a little bit left of this joint. Figure I'll smoke on this a little bit. Sick. One thing about me is these joints make me cough more than a bong rip will, and you guys will see that. But anyways, as I'm going and or as I'm smoking on this joint, figure I'll let you guys know about gamer subs. For those of you guys who know me, you guys know I drink gamer subs literally every day. Whether it's before work, before the gym, before recording sessions or whatever, I literally drink this shit every day. And I don't want you guys to actually hit the well. Actually. Let me just go ahead and breeze over this really quickly. I said in the last video that I got a strike on my channel, it was in February, and it was on a seven-year-old video of mine titled Half Gram Bong Rips Number Two, and they striked it for child safety. And in my mind, I was really wondering how is this video getting striked for child safety when it's an age-restricted video of a grown man smoking weed? And at the end of the day, what I boiled it down to is in the earlier stages of my channel, before I had any facial hair, I looked pretty young. And what I think happened is YouTube's automated system that we all know about must have targeted the video because they probably thought it was an underage kid smoking or something. And so they just took the video down and struck the channel, which at the end of the day, I can't really do anything about it. That's why I don't even really care to talk about it. But Basically, because of the strike, it resulted in a few penalties on my channel, like the links in my description not necessarily being clickable anymore, but you could still copy and paste them and whatever. But at the end of the day, gamersubs.gg, code J-I-M-I, will get you guys 10% off of Gamersubs. A whole bunch of delicious flavors, drinking on the Smitty Good flavor. Uh, this shit is delicious. I love it. Tastes like some good old red Kool-Aid. And this is just one of, I literally have no clue how many flavors they have. So many that I can't even remember. But yeah, man, get you guys some gamer subs. It's the best way to support me and yourself, man. But let's go ahead and get into these bong rips, y'all. First things first, we'll go ahead and take some bud and put it in our grinder. I've been trying to dedicate myself to getting more Keith because uh, most of my most popular videos or the most popular videos on my channel are Keith related. So at the end of the day, I feel like Keith just tends to perform pretty well on the channel. And it's also fun to, to do videos based around Keith, I should say. I don't know what it is about joints that make me cough more than bong rips. I mean, yeah, the perk does help quite a bit. I just drew a blank. <laughs> I 
the perk does help quite a bit but at the end of the day these two pieces are very simple examples of a straight tube and a beaker these two pieces obviously come in so many different varieties so many different glass artists make their own different versions customized perks different colors and shit this is just a comparison between these two pieces but one thing i was gonna say is i feel like joints make me cough more because it's a dry hit i feel like bongs maybe that's why they don't make me cough more but like i genuinely will cough more smoking a joint than i will taking a one gram bong rip been a minute since i've done one of those if you guys want to see another one you know i could go ahead and do that like i said i want to film some more of these smoke sessions so first things first what do we do beaker or straight tube i'm gonna flip a coin <laughs> All right, heads is beaker, tails is straight tube. <laughs> tails, sick, all right, tube. All right, so immediately, I guess I'll get into pros and then cons, but to me, I don't think the cons really show themselves unless you compare the two. So what I'm gonna do is just basically tell you guys why I like the straight tube. Why I like the straight tube in particular is because it's a perfect everyday driver. You know what I mean? It's a daily driver piece. It's perfect for mid-size rips to average rips. I prefer to take the fatter rips off the beaker just because there's more space for the smoke to stack. But tubes, they're almost like steamroller pipes where as soon as you take your hand off the carburetor, the thing just shotguns all the smoke into your lungs so it's real easy to clear the piece it's really easy to clean you know you got this little ash catcher which is an extra piece of glass to clean but it's the same thing with a beaker bong you have a down stem that you need to clean and as far as cons i say the con like i said is only when you compare it to the beaker because the beaker you can tilt you know hit it while it's on your desk pause i don't i don't know why i did that but <laughs> The fucking straight tube, as you guys could see, the perk is meant to be hit at a specific angle. So it's kind of hard to tilt this and have it work properly. So if I go out on like camping trips or hiking trips where I'm going to be hitting my bong on the go, I like to use my beaker just because it's easier to use on the go. And like I said, these are two very simple versions of these two pieces. I've seen straight tubes come in so many different varieties. When it comes down to glass, I really want to get myself a Sovereignty because I love Sovereignty glass. They have so many beautiful pieces and I want to get my hands on one. So when I can, I definitely will. I'm gonna actually go ahead and post this rip to my IG. So if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, make sure you guys do. If you guys wanna keep up with me, you know, with the, uh, sometimes YouTube and Twitch doesn't send out notifications. So if you guys wanna keep up, you know, check me out on Instagram or, oh my God, I'm stupid. If you guys want to keep up with me on Twitch or YouTube, I post notifications for when I go live or upload a video on my Instagram story. Gosh, I can't talk. Cheers. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are, you know, smoking a bowl with me. Straight to first, then beaker. Now it's time for the beaker. All right, as I pack up this next bowl in the beaker, I'll let you guys know the pros that I think come along with the beaker. One of the pros I already mentioned being that you can take really fat rips off of the beaker. Most of my one gram bong rips have been off of this beaker bong and I just think it's really good for fat rips just because like I said, the straight tube is more of like a steamroller where the smoke fills up and then, you know, gets cleared in a heartbeat. This shit, you know, you could stack smoke up and this shit will slowly stack all the way until you clear it. So I'll actually show you guys that here in a second. Another thing that's cool about these beakers is that you can change out the down stems and get different functions, which is what I did with this one. This is not the down stem that came with the bong. This is a shower head down stem from Thick Ass Glass and I really just enjoy shower head down stems. But that's another thing, you can always change out the function that your beaker has if you don't enjoy the function that is on your current down stem. Unless it's like a fixed one or something, but you guys know what I mean. I put a little bit more in there. There wasn't enough in the grinder. And as far as cons, to be honest, I can't really think of a con that comes along with a beaker. And I can't really think of a con for a straight tube either. I just think they're both preference. Like, you know, I, I love glass in general. I don't think one of these is necessarily a worse option than the other. It just kind of depends on what type of person you are. To me, I would say the only con with the beaker that I could possibly think of is the fact that I've broken so many down stems while cleaning the bong. Like just having the down stem as an extra piece of glass to clean, I've broken a handful of them. But you could say the same thing about ash catcher. It's just another piece of glass to clean. But let's go ahead and take this fucking rip ski and hell yeah, man. <clears throat> if you guys want to see more of these little smoke session videos, obviously let me know. <sighs> I'm get a little cheeky angle. Show you guys this way and that way. Cheers. It's really 
really smooth too. I mean, so is the uh, the straight tube, but the straight tube clears so much quicker. Hell yeah, guys. Just another little chill smoke session video. If y'all wanna see more little session videos like this one, obviously leave it in the comments below and even video game suggestions, just content ideas in general. And you know, other than that, that's gonna wrap it up for this little smoke session. You know what I mean? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that other bullshit that YouTubers usually say. Peace out, y'all.